This is Dr. Caldwell Miller, Dr. Miller's Guide to Neurology, and we're talking about epilepsy right now. And today we're going to talk about the drug trileptal, or oxcarbamazepine. It's sort of the new version of Tegretol. Uh, when it came out, we really loved this drug, and it's been out, I don't know, 30 years. Um, you start at 150 milligrams and work up to 300 uh, to 600 milligrams twice a day. Um, similar to Tegretol, you can have that problem with rash. You can break out from it, and you've got to really watch because it can cause bone marrow suppression. You've got to watch their CPC and watch their white cow. When it drops under three, you have to stop it. It can cause severe hyponatremia, low sodium. Always follow them up with CPC chem profile. The bone marrow failure and hyponatremia are not rare. I mean, we, when we used a ton of it, we would see it you know, two to five times a year. Uh, but it is a great seizure drug. We still use trileptal a lot for trigeminal neuralgia. It seems to really work for those sharp shooting pains in the face. So we still use a good bit of trileptal. We use it for neuropathy, sharp shooting pains, and we'll talk about that in a segment on neuropathy. If people have, you know, not burning in their feet, but sharp shooting pains, tri trileptal works great. But you just have to warn them that they can be alerted to it, and you have to follow uh, their CBC and chem profile to follow their white blood count and their sodium. Just don't refill it. You know, if, you only, if they're not going to come in for the lab, just give them, you know, three months at a time and don't refill it unless they have their lab because it can be a life-threatening, either one of those problems, um, low white count, hyponatremia, it can be life-threatening. So that's trileptal. So like, comment, subscribe. More later.